Hello YouTube, it's your boy B3, back another kicking graphic novel trade comic collection video. Today I have a really cool one, The Superior Spider-Man, Volume 1. This is the Volume 1 of the Deluxes, so it's just called Volume 1, no fancy title or anything. Uh, and it also includes the Amazing Spider-Man issues that came before, that led up to 700 and whatnot. No, it doesn't have the point one issues with Morbius, but who cares anyways, right? Uh, but yeah, really cool. I read all the single issues of this. I have all the first printings, including an unread uh, number one. But uh, I wanted to revisit it, and I wanted a copy of it that I could read over and over again because I really enjoyed Superior Spider-Man. So I picked this up on Amazon. So I'm going to read the back for you real quick. More than amazing. One had great power thrust upon him, then spent his life trying to live up to ideals of great responsibility. The other fumbled away every advantage life gave him through arrogance, criminality, and a single-minded pursuit to destroy his noble opposite. Now the epic clash between Spider-Man and Dr. Octopus has culminated in a shocking reversal nobody saw coming, and everyone will finally see who is superior. Writer Dan Slott, teams of artists Ryan Stegman and... Humberto Ramos in one of the most talked about Spider-Man sagas in a generation. Collects Amazing Spider-Man 698 through 700 and Superior Spider-Man 1 through 5. Really cool. It's a $34.99 book. Uh, it's going for a little bit more than that now. I got it for about that price though, so it's all good. Uh, it's all Gucci. I only really had to pay shipping. Uh, and then a couple dollars more. It was just a couple dollars more. I paid like 36 something and then shipping. But, um... Yeah, now I'm going to read you the inside cover here. With only a year to live, Dr. Octopus did what he does best. He planned. It started with a series of battles. First to overtake Manhattan with an army of octobots, then to hold the planet hostage with an array of heat-inducing satellites that seemed to have no connection other than the supervillain's hatred for his wall-crawling archenemy, Spider-Man. But Peter Parker would soon learn differently. Through an amazing wall crawler won those battles, it would become vividly clear in the end just who was smarter, stronger, and superior after all. But... <clears throat> sorry... And in a shocking aftermath, a new Spider-Man is born, a superior Spider-Man, possessed of Peter Parker's body and memories, but Doc Ock's Lars in his mind. With the influence of Peter's spirit rub off on his former arch enemy, will Ock's desire to atone for the past misdeeds give him a new lease on life? And just when he starts to grow comfortable with his new life as Spider-Man, family, friends, and the adoration of Mary Jane, will it all come crashing down when someone suspects that is not all that it appears? Yeah, so we get the Amazing Spider-Man issues first, where uh, Doc Ock's laying in prison, dying, has hours left to live, and he swaps bodies with Spider-Man, and it's crazy. Spider-Man's gonna murder all his loved ones, and do all this crazy stuff, and ruin the name of Spider-Man is what Doc Ock plans to do. Uh, so, Peter Parker uses Doc Ock's mind and his memories to escape prison and hire some supervillains to help him out. Uh, but in the end, Peter Parker ends up dying in Doc Ock's body, and Doc Ock ends up living in Peter Parker's body. But Peter Parker's memories are influencing him the same way they influence Peter Parker. They make him want to be better. They make him want to be a hero. They make him understand the value of life more. Um, and all that Gucci. Uh, J. Jonah Jameson starts to like Spider-Man now that Doc Ock is in his body. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, and then there's a little story about Peter Parker as a great grandpa after he's changed his name and stuff so he could get away from being Spider-Man. And Then there's... Um, also a little story about Black Cat having a date night with Spider-Man. They're just fun little stories that are in the back of 700. And then Otto Octavius has done all this stuff to be a different new Spider-Man. Um, he has these Spider-Bots patrolling the city. Uh, and he ignores things like fires and small robberies and stuff, which isn't very Spider-Man. But that's the point. He's a new kind of Spider-Man. He's kind of more efficient, but also he's kind of not being as heroic. Uh, beats the shit out of the Vulture, blinds him, and... Um, Harley knows he's Doc Ock, which is pretty crazy, and he's doing stuff with Mary Jane, trying to get in Mary Jane's pants, but he can't do it, which is awesome. And then Massacre shows back up, and he ends up killing Massacre. So, he kills a supervillain in front of all these people in Spider-Man's body. But, uh, it's pretty crazy. He goes back to college. Probably should have ended on the murder thing, but he also goes back to college. <laughs> And I do have Volume 2. I will be getting to it. Volume 3 is in the mail, headed to me. Uh, it's all going to be good, so I'll be reviewing all of Superior Spider-Man and Superior Spider-Man Team-Up. Uh, I already reviewed Volume 1 of Superior Spider-Man Team-Up, and I'll be doing Volume 2 soon as well. In volume 3, when I can get my hands on it. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Superior Spider-Man Volume 1. Dan Slott 
and his creative team did a great job on this. I highly recommend getting the uh, the hardcover deluxe one so that you can get more for your buck, I feel like. Actually, Volume 2 has gotten really expensive for some reason. I got mine for a slight discount at the comic shop, luckily, but I saw it going for over $50 on Amazon, which was really weird to me. It's definitely not worth that. Uh, just get the trades in whatever way you can get them cheapest, because there's also the smaller single trades. Uh, if you get the smaller trades that you have to get more of, you might end up spending a little more, and you'll have to get an Amazing Spider-Man trade as well, but it's all Gucci. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll see you all later.